the formidable robot. Has anybody ever heard of CGI back in the day? Have you ever watched some of the old computer animated shows and movies, like Veggie Tales and Toy Story? Well, I used to remember an old computer animated short that disturbed me forever. I'm a single person at my house located somewhere in a small cul-de-sac in the West Midlands. I was cleaning up the loft until I noticed my box full of videotapes, and my video player. I opened the box, and the tapes there were my favorite movies and TV shows. There were some Disney movies and others that were made by different companies. In the box, I notice a videotape sealed in a Dynamicron T120 case, which is something I don't remember owning. I then took the tape and the video player and hooked the player up to my digital bedroom TV. I opened the case and the blank tape itself was marked with a pin, saying, Help me mummy, 1992. I thought this had to be some stupid horror movie, so I inserted the tape into my video player. And forgot to mention that the tape was never played before. The video started in a kid's bedroom at night, with the night lamp on. This was a short film, done entirely in primitive 3D animation. Looks like it was animated in Wavefront, a software that created the incredible Crash Dummies in 1993, a year after this short came out. In the bedroom, there were two robot-like human characters, a mother, and a boy that is about like five years old in his jammies. The mother was reading the boy a bedtime story about animals doing mishaps around the circus, as stated in a book she was holding. The mother left the boy's room after the bedtime story, now with the night lamp off. The kid in bed was struggling to sleep. He even tried to shut his eyes to fall asleep but to no avail. While the kid was trying to sleep, he heard strange noises coming from the closet. The boy left his bed and opened the closet, nothing was there. Then the noise was heard again, but under the bed. The boy checked under it, but again, nothing was there. Then the noise is now heard in the hallway, outside the boy's bedroom. The unnerving noises that were heard were inhuman breathing and moving noises. The boy walks towards the door and got out of his bedroom, and yet again, nothing was there. The boy started quietly roaming around the house. As he walked toward the living room, a blood-curdling moan was admitted from the kitchen. The moan was like a woman in shrill agony, almost sounding creature-like. That noise scared the shit out of me, including the boy in the short. The boy then runs back to his bedroom in shaking fear. Not even the parents are going to check what's going on, even though they're still asleep in their bedroom. The boy went to his bed and hid under the blanket. Then it cuts to a few minutes later with the kid sleeping. It was still nighttime. The boy was now woken up and sees the most terrifying and disturbing thing in existence, staring down at him. The monster was a dark grey rotten man with a bald head, bloodshot bulging eyes with small pupils, a large mouth with sharp crooked teeth, and wearing what looked to be a ripped up hospital patient attire. This somehow managed to give me a huge chill by looking at that, and the primitive CGI alone makes it ultra disturbing. The boy screamed as loud as he can, but nobody, not even his parents, came to arrive what was going on. He then frantically leaves his bedroom to the living room. As the boy got in, he noticed that the living room TV was on, displaying static. He tried to manually switch the TV off, but nothing worked. Then he unplugged the TV, to which it finally worked. The boy finally relieves himself, thinking it was a bad hallucination, and runs back to his bedroom, where the monster is no longer there. He got back to his bed and sleeps. A few moments later, the closet suddenly opens itself, revealing that the entrance is an endless black void. The boy woke up and noticed what was going on. Then he got off his bed and walked toward the closet. The boy was then pushed by an invisible force, causing him to fly away into the darkness, screaming for his mom, to which she never came at all. He then ended up in what looked like a dark barren wasteland, followed by a haunting soundscape. The sky was pitch black, followed by very dark grey clouds, and the barren field itself was also a dark grey. The scared boy wanders around the unnerving landscape for two minutes until he was then grabbed by crimson arms coming from the ground. He literally wanted to know that it was a bad dream, to which it wasn't. Disturbing sounds were admitted during this intense scene. 
The boy was crying like crazy while struggling with the herbs he was grabbed by. The ground then creates a hole in where the boy was grabbed. The boy fell into the hole as his screams and cries were heard, followed by flesh ripping and bone cracking. He was never heard from again as the video fades to black, completely ending the short. As I ejected the tape, I was flabbergasted by the deranged contents of that 3D animated short film, made back in 1992. All of that fucked up stuff hadn't been possible at that time. Well, I might have the balls to upload this short to YouTube, but I don't know if the site accepts it for its disturbing nature. Since I hid the tape back into the loft, I had freaky nightmares that lasted for weeks. I don't know who in their right minds would animate that short back in the 90s, with the computer technology at the time being limited. The videotape that contained the short itself was a piece of lost media, and it's still something I didn't remember owning at the time.